So good evening all. Welcome to today's class of week three, LPTL BT twenty four immunology course. So we good evening. So we sh we shall start with our discussion and let people join. Let more people join also. Good evening, Shruti. So if you have any doubt, we can discuss. orals i will start so as this is our third discussion session so um, i'm ananya chatterjee i'm a phd student in iisc bangalore and i am one of your teaching assistants of the course host pathogen interaction uh, or immunology so in this classes i generally discuss assignments questions answers and also previous years assignment uh, question and answer and also the lectures which uh, professor uh, goes through so if we will start with week 1 question and answer so hope you all have submitted um, uh, this assignment because deadline was 7th february and there is another deadline of assignment uh, tomorrow so let us discuss week 1's assignment first which of the following is not there in cots postulates answer like options the microorganism must be found in a diseased not in healthy individuals this is true this is there in cots postulate so option 2 microbes must be cultured from diseased individuals this is also true inoculation of healthy individuals with a cultured microorganism must recapitulate the disease this is also true if a healthy individual's blood is transfused into a into a diseased individual it will cure them no this is not cots postulate so incorrect statement will be there this is not there option 5 if microbes must be reisolated from the inoculated diseased individual and matched to the original microbes this is also true so the incorrect statement or the statement which is not there in cots postulates will be if a healthy individual uh, if a healthy individual's blood is transferred into a diseased individual it will cure them next question which is not correctly matched paul ehrlich gave the first model of antibody molecule robert koch discovered an organism responsible for white death which is not correctly matched okay louis pasteur demonstrated the first smallpox vaccine emil von behring gave the first prophylactic serum theory jules bordet discovered the complement system proteins so which is not uh, correctly matched will be louis pasteur demonstrated the first smallpox vaccine Carl Landsteiner received the Nobel Prize for serum antitoxin, cellular immunity to tuberculosis, discovery of blood groups. This will be the answer. Antihistamines no, MHC no. Which of the following statements is correct? Innate and adaptive immunity are totally independent of each other. No, this is not true. Innate immunity requires B cell response. Not true. innate immunity innate and adaptive immunity are linked this is true antibodies are necessary for innate immune response false 
adaptive immunity system is the first line of defense false innate immunity system is the first line of defense so which of the following statements is correct innate and adaptive immunity are linked they do cross talk each other cross talk with each other okay the word immune is from which of the from which of the word immunity generated has a latin latin word like latin origin which of the following is not true for complement proteins they are soluble proteins synthesized by liver activated by a cascade of signaling through forms membrane attack complex through in inhibits inflammation performs opsonization inhibits inflammation this is false property of primary lymphoid organs immune competent cells interact with antigens here rich in lymphocytes and macrophages immunocompetent cells are generated and matures here constitutes mild gilt and bald uh, complement proteins are generated here so the answer will be like the property of primary lymphoid organs immunocompetent cells are generated and matures here this will be the answer which branch of immunology deals with diagnosis and treatment of disease related to disregu dysregulation of immune system diagnosis and treatment of disease okay it should be clinical immunology which of the following statements is or are correct edward buchner termed the substance in the blood stream that has antibacterial activity as elixin edward jenner first reported the to the royal society on the oriental practice of variation of smallpox according to coach the microorganism must be cultured from the disease individual so which of the following is correct option 3 is correct and edward buchner termed the substance in the blood has an antibacterial activity as elixin this is correct so 1 and 3 the last question which of the following statements is are incorrect smallpox is caused by rna virus this is incorrect smallpox is caused by dna virus week 2 so which of the following statements is are correct hematopoietic stem cells are examples of multipotent multipotent stem cells which is correct germline stem cells that only produce sperms are examples of totipotent stem cells no transgenic mouse models can be used to investigate immune defense against bacterial infection this is also true so option 1 and 3 are true which of the following statements are correct lymph nodes are connected to the blood vessels and lymphatic vessels lymph nodes act as filters of antibodies mm, b cells are present in the cortex of the cortex region of the lymph nodes so lymph nodes are connected to the blood vessels and lymphatic vessels which is true lymph node acts as a filter for antibodies act as filters for antibodies no b cells are present in the cortex regions of lymph node yeah so which of the following uh, statements are correct will be lymph nodes are connected to the blood vessels and lymphatic vessels and b cells are present in the cortex region of the lymph node Lamina propria is associated with spleen, white pulp, thymic cortex, gut, bulb, lymph node. So, lamina propria is associated with gut. Thymic stromal lymphopoietin or TSLP is produced by. What is thymic stromal lymphopoietin or TSLP? We have uh, discussed in previous class. I will go over again. So, this is basically is produced by Hassel's capsule and. Uh, epithelial type 4 reticular cells so which is a epithelial type 4 reticular cells and also called hassel's capsule so when we discuss the thymus cross section we talked about this efferent lymphatic vessel in lymph node is efferent lymphatic vessel in lymph node is rich in antibodies and effector t cells m cells play important role in transcytosis 
the mice where we delete or disrupt the gene of interest from a particular organ or type of cells is called conditional knockout mice for successfully created knockout cells using homologous recombination which one is incorrect the cells will survive on g4 418 containing media hsp tk is not incorporated but neomycin is incorporated into the genome cells will not survive on ganglovir and acylglovir uh, which one is incorrect cells will survive this is correct cell will pass both positive and negative selection so option 3 is incorrect to prevent the differentiation of stem cell what is added into the media uh, so to prevent differentiation of stem cells uh, people add leukemia inhibiting factor where do the clonal selection and clonal uh, deletion of t cells take place thymus So this is the assignment from last year with three assignment. So which of the following statements are correct? Macrophages mature into monocytes and migrate from blood to tissues. No, it's not correct. B lymphocytes come under the granulocytes category. No, megakaryocytes are produced from the blood platelets and released into the blood stream no so answer will be none of the statements during the isolation of peripheral blood mononuclear cells or pbmcs from the whole blood which of the following statements is are incorrect histopac 1077 contains polygalactose and sodium diatrose adjusted to a density of 10.77 gram per ml leukophoresis is a procedure in which leukocytes are selectively removed from the subject circulation this is true. Buffy code contains monocytes, erythrocytes, and platelets. So, which are the statements which are incorrect will be uh, 1 and 3. So, So you can see that histopag 1077 contains polysucrose and sodium diatrosoid. Okay. And density of cells which contains erythrocytes and polymorphonuclear cells is 1.077 greater than 1.077 gram per ml. And then leukophoresis. Isolation of immune cells in clinical staging. So yeah, we have discussed about this last class. Which of the following statements are correct? Neutrophils and vesicles are predominantly involved in the phagocytosis of uh, pathogens. Leukocytosis is associated with a decrease in the neutrophils upon infection. Chronic uh, granu granulomatous disease is a genetic disorder. So, you can see.
so which uh, so here you have uh, been asked that which statements are correct so you can see that neutrophils and vesicles you know that are not predominantly involved in phagocytosis so this will be incorrect leukocytosis is associated with a decrease of uh, neutrophils upon infection this is also not true and uh, but chronic granulomatous disease is a, a genetic disorder which is true so answer will be this i am just trying to find that we have covered this in the last class just it should be present in the slide as well So this is degranulation and results in change in morphology. Okay, so this was not in previous week's class. So the next question is, which of the following statements are correct? Dendritic cells link innate and adaptive immunity. Macrophages have poor viability than dendritic cells. Neutrophils are in circulation and keep circulating. So answer is, uh, dendritic cells do link innate and adaptive immunity and neutrophils are in circulation and keep circulating. Which of the following statements are correct? Eusinophilia is associated with the reduction of eosinophils during uh, parasite info, uh, infection. Eosin is negatively charged acidic dye that stains eosinophils. Eosinophil contains major acidic proteins that act as a toxin for helminths. So the answer is eucin is negatively charged acidic dye that contains eucinophils. Sorry, that stains eucinophils. So which of the following statements are correct? Basophils and mast cells secrete histamine, uh, which is true. Histamine decreases blood vessel permeability. No. Ig and IgA trigger the release of histamines from the mast cell. Uh, no, this is also not true. Which of the following statements are incorrect? Bradykinin is one of the primary mediators of uh, mast cell. Cortisone blocks calcium plus 2 influx into mast cells. Cetrogen blocks H1 receptors and prevents acute respiratory distress syndromes. So which one of the following is or are incorrect? So bradykinin is one of the primary mediators of mast cell. This is incorrect and uh, so an option 2. Cortisone blocks calcium plus 2 in influx. This is incorrect. Which of the following statements are correct? Pathogens can activate the macrophages, which is true. Monocytes and macrophages originate from different lineage, which is false. Dendritic cells are derived from both the myelad and lymphoid origin, and this is also true. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Ralph M. Steinman was award, uh, uh, awarded the Nobel Prize for the discovery of neutrophils. Uh, macrophages and neutrophils are antigen-presenting cells. Monocytes 
are floating phagocytic cells so options are uh, we uh, uh, correct options options are 2 and 3 which of the following are incorrect dendritic cells link innate and adaptive immunity which is true macrophages have poor viability than dendritic cells neutrophils are in circulation and keep circulating so option 2 will be the incorrect statement so in week 4 class sir is discussing about cytokines if you have any doubt in those assignment questions we will discuss or we will start with cytokines ma'am you can start okay so as some of you might heard of the name of cytokine uh, so what is cytokine so there is a group of soluble proteins okay in our cell what it does it facilitate cell to cell communication so this is small macromolecules okay uh where they facilitate or they help cell to cell communication so in that in this sentence what do you mean by cell to cell what cells so as we are talking about immune cells it will be immune cells so different immune cells cell to cell communication happens with the help of this macromolecules and uh, so it helps in development and different immune responses so the cytokine exact its effect in autocrine so paracrine and endocrine manner so you can say that this macromolecules or small pro, uh, soluble proteins exert its effect in different manners so there are three manners autocrine where from the same so what happens from the same cell it get released and it uh, like it facilitates the future process in the same cell so this is autocrine fashion then paracrine where the it affects the nearby cell and for endocrine it goes through the circulation and then affect in uh, distant cell so the autocrine and paracrine manner of action is not is most common so t cell interleukin il2 acts effectively in all three modes so you can remember that t cell interleukin il2 which is a cytokine can act in three different modes autocrine paracrine endocrine non immune function of cytokines so the cytokines such as interleukin 8 and monocyte chemotactive protein 1 are involved in follicular development and atresia ovulation steroidogenesis and corpus luteum function the adrenal cortex and adrenal corti uh, cortical and chromaffin cells produce cytokine as il1 il6 tnf alpha leukemia inhibitory factor il18 which have a key role in the immuno adreno cortical communication properties of cytokines low molecular weight regulatory protein or glycoprotein secreted by wbc a low molecular weight regulatory protein or glycoprotein in response to intrinsic and extrinsic stimuli cytokine action is short lived generally ranging from a few hours to few days cytokines regulate the intensity and duration of the immune response cytokines exhibits its effect by pleiotropy so what are the cytokine action pleiotropy synergy redundancy so you can see this is a activated t helper cell and it is releasing il4 okay this il4 has different functions in different target cells who so which are b cell thymocyte mast cells so what il4 is doing with b cell is that the effect is it is activating the b cell it is helping in proliferation it is helping in differentiation again it is helping il4 is helping in proliferation of thymocytes and it's also helping in proliferation of mast cells so pleiotropy so it has different function in different cells so cytokine action when one cytokine has different function in different cells is called pleiotropy okay 
then redundancy so for example this is a activated tl bar cells it is secreting il2 il4 il5 and all are helping uh, in proliferation of b cell which is called redundancy and synergy this is the activated t helper cell which is um, producing il4 plus il5 both combining and then helping b cell to induce class switch to ige so in this case both are required ig4 and ig5 uh, sorry il4 and il5 So, Shilpa, what is acrisia which you have mentioned in second slide? Yes, ma'am, this one. This one. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, so there are different non-immune function as well. So here they have mentioned that the cytokines IL-10 and MCP-1 are involved in follicular development follicular development you know and atresia atresia means that sometimes some like uh, some tubules inside your body doesn't have uh, normal opening okay so like uh, so in that case it helps follicular development means uh, like during ovulation there are different follicular development atresia means if any tubule doesn't have proper opening so these are involved in that case atresia means abnormal abnormality in the tubules uh, opening or of tubules you can say okay mom so yeah i'm just finding if there is an image of atresia Then I can show you. So yes. So tubules can be any tubules, okay? It can be. Uh, so you so you have spleen or liver, okay? So in liver, suppose there is a bile. So there is bile duct, okay? There is. Uh, there will be bile production and bile duct so in bile duct also that tubules also may be may get uh, narrow okay so this case also it's called atresia wherever you have tubules and then it gets narrowed you can say like it can be present in uh, damaged liver it can can be present in stomach intestine uh, like this okay i let's see yeah so any tubules which is blocked it can be called atresia okay so pleiotropy redundancy and synergy this you need to remember and also please remember this cytokine at least one like this four to five cytokines names and what are these function what are their functions and then uh, cytokine action in antagonism so here you can see one uh, another like activated t helper cell where it is releasing il4 and it's helping uh, b cell but again, what is happening? Blocks class switch to IgE induced by IL-4. Okay. But on the same time, IFN gamma, it's blocking class switch to IgE induced, which is induced by IL-4. So they are doing opposite action. Cascade induction, what happens in that? So here one T helper cell is producing IFN gamma, 
which is helping uh, macrophage like which is inducing macrophage and then from macrophage it's getting induced and producing IL-12 then again IL-12 is uh, activating T helper cell again and then T helper cell is again producing iPhen gamma different uh, tumor necrosis factor IL-2 and other cytokines so this is cascade induction because um, in a stepwise or cascade fa fashion it is happening so cytokine nomenclature and types naming of cytokines lymphokines which is secreted so these are cytokines which is secreted by lymphocytes monokines secreted by monocytes and macrophages interleukin secreted by leukocytes some are named as common name uh, tumor necrosis factor chemokines low molecular weight cytokines that affect hemotaxis and other aspects of leukocyte behavior cytokine types based on source cells so based on from which cell it's getting generated whether it's innate or adaptive immune cells based on function cytokine function development of cellular and humoral immune responses induction of the inflammatory response um, regulation of hematopoiesis control of uh, cellular proliferation and differentiation the healing of wounds so pathogens and cytokines these are different virus and virally encoded proteins so a different virus also produces this kind of uh, proteins which resemble cytokines okay to just to mask their presence inside our body so example Epstein by Barr virus or EPV or cytomegalovirus produce IL-10 homolog vaccinia virus or variola virus produce soluble IL-1 receptors myxoma virus soluble, soluble IF gamma receptor Variola virus soluble TNF receptors, adenovirus RID complex proteins induce internalization of fast receptor, measles virus viral hemoglobin in binds to complement receptor CD46 signaling disruption of IL-12 production and therefore inhibition of TH1 pathway differentiation. differentiation. Herpes simplex virus reverses translation translation block induced by type 1 interference. Adenovirus blocks interferon induced JAK or STAT signaling. JAK STAT signaling. <laughs> so this this these are the virus which also encode this kind of complementary like uh, cytokines and then uh, blocks are interferon induced different kind of signaling as well. Now we will discuss about cytokine function and other immune mediators. So you have seen, you have so far you have, we have discussed different cytokines name. So again we will start with cytokine action and function and you can see that how intricate the pathway is. So suppose macrophage is producing cytokine IFN alpha, IFN beta, IFN gamma and this is an autocrine uh, mechanism you can see. It, is in, it, it induces its own cell like macrophage induces macrophage itself and then again it can produce IL-1, IL-8 IL-1, uh, interleukin-8, interleukin uh, they can act on basophils they can produce, macrophage can produce interleukin-10 okay, which will act on another cell and it can also produce interleukin 1, interleukin 8, TNF alpha to act on neutrophil. Neutrophil will produce TNF alpha and will reverse act on macrophage. So, like this, this is uh, a uh, beautiful intricate pathway, but you no, no need to remember all these uh, cytokines names. It's not required, just, uh, just to make you understand. So, innate immunity cytokines. So, some cytokines of innate immunity you need to. Uh, no, among them interleukin 1, so which are associated with monocytes, macrophage, endothelial cells, epithelial cells, function, vasculature or inflammation, hypothalamus, fever, liver, induction of acute phase proteins, tumor necrosis factor, 
macrophages, monocytes, uh, monocytes, neutrophils, activated T cells, and NK cells. Vasculature uh, in liver they do in uh, they induce acute phase proteins, loss of muscle, body fat, induction of death in many cell types. Interleukin twelve macrophages and dead body cells NK cells induces adaptive immunity. Interleukin six liver uh, interferon alpha. Macrophages and dead cells, virus infected cells induces an anti liver antiviral state in most nucleated cells. Interferon beta, it's uh, macrophages, dendritic cells, virus infected cells, and it induces antiviral state in most nucleated cells. Increases MHC class 1 expression and activa activates NK cells. Adaptive immunity cytokines, interleukin 2 associated with T cell. T cell proliferation can promote AICD, NK cell activation and proliferation, B cell proliferation, interleukin 4, TH2 cells, mast cells, promoter, uh, promotes TH2 differentiation, isotype switch to IgE, interleukin 5, TH2 cells, eosinophil activation and generation, transforming growth factor beta, TGF beta, T cells, macrophages and other cell types, inhibits T cell proliferation and effector functions, inhibits B cell proliferation, promotes isotype switch to IgA, inhibits macrophages, interferon gamma, Th1 cells, CD8 plus cells, NK cells, activates macrophages, increases, in, increases expression of MHC class 1 and class 2 molecules, increases antigen presentation. So there are different, uh, different immune mediators as well. So these are vasoactive amines. Examples of vasoactive amines are histamine and serotonin. So this is the structure of serotonin. Serotonin present in hematopoietic stem cells and in high abundance in platelets. Serotonin regulates inflammation and immunity by acting on serotonin receptors that are differentially expressed on immune cells. Serotonin acts as a potent chemoattractant as well and it recruits innate immune cells to the sites of inflammation. Serotonin alters the production and release of cytokines and cell activation or proliferation. Immune cells including mast cells and T lymphocytes have the capacity to synthesize and release serotonin. Action of histamine. So these are different uh, allergen you can see and uh, uh, due to the, the induction by allergens there is different vasoactive amines are getting released and those are acting in uh, acting in smooth like it can be present in smooth muscle cells small blood vessels mucous gland blood platelets sensory nerve endings and eosinophil another immune mediated mediators which is eicosanoids example thromboxane leukotrienes and prostaglandins involved in reproductive function uh, involved as well in the inflammation, fever, and pain associated with injury and disease in the formation of blood clots and the regulation of blood pressure in gastric acid secretion as well. Immune mediators peptide bradykinin, which is of uh, 9 amino acid long. So, it plays an important role in blood pressure regulation or it acts as a vaso vasodilator. It dilates the uh, vessel of uh, which carries blood. Plays an important role in inflammatory reactions. Also, it elevates vascular permeability and to cause vasodilation in some arteries and veins. So, bradykinin, what is the function of bradykinin? This. Immune mediators proteins, smaller fragment of complements such as C3A, C5A, cytokines such as IL-1 beta, IL-6, TNF alpha, type 1 interferons, interferon alpha consist of 13 members and single IFN beta, type 1 interferons, inducible genes, IP10, Rantes, etc. Type 3 interferons, IFN lambda consist of 3 members. So, application of interference in therapies. The cytokine based therapy was also initiated. So, because there was a need of advancement 
in different genetic engineering techniques such as cloning of cytokine genes so to apply the function of cytokines in patients so because of that there was a requirement of cytokine based therapy so generation of soluble cytokine receptors generation of monoclonal antibodies directed against cytokine or cytokine receptors interference in tick treatments so hepatitis b and c along with riboflavin hairy cell leukemia a type of b cell leukemia chronic myelogenesis leukemia increases in number of granulocyte okay kaposi sarcoma multiple sclerosis young adults are the primary target of this this is a autoimmune neurological disease so interference in treatment also follicular non hodgkin lymphoma cute so these are the diseases where uh, interference uh, do play a role in treatment or treating these diseases cytokine based therapies in clinical use so rasperon which is the interferon alpha clinical application in hepatitis b kaposi sarcoma intron a has a clinical application in melanoma avonex multiple sclerosis actimmune in chronic granulomatous disease yes so we were uh, so yeah it's mentioned in this slide this is a genetic disease chronic granulomatous disease uh, and also osteoporosis so this 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 is a genetic disease where nature of agent we can use uh, like acti immune which is a interferon gamma nature of agent to for clinically treat treatment and there are also side effects of this interference which are uh, flu like sim- symptoms where you will have chills fever headache fatigue loss of appetite low white uh, white blood cells counts or anemia skin rashes thinning hair so this side effects can be severe or can make treatment with interferon hard for many people to tolerate so most side effects don't last long after the treatment stops but fatigue can last longer other rare long term effects include damages to nerves including those uh, those in brain and spinal cord so now we will discuss about application of cytokines in therapies and research so inflammation blockers inflammation can be blocked by different ways by removing or sequestering inflammatory cytokine by blocking the target receptor of the inflammatory cytokine expressed over the target cell the biocompatible molecule with these properties can be used for the dampening inflammation inflammation blockers specific blocker of tnf alpha soluble tnf alpha which is enbrel monoclonal antibodies against tnf alpha uh, ramicid and hamira treatment of rheumatoid rheumatoid arthritis and ankai losing spondylitis inflammation blockers example recombinant form of il1 uh, ra which is receptor antagonist um, ani kinra the other name it reduce inflammation joint pain joint swelling caused by moderate um, to severe active rheumatoid arthritis monoclonal antibodies directed against the alpha chain of the il2 or which is bacilizumab and dexlizumab so these are names you don't need to re- remember all these names prevention of, prevention of transplant rejection reactions so you can so you can just um, remember that monoclonal antibodies which is uh, directed against alpha chain of interleukin 2r okay and these are the name of those composition and which prevent the transplant rejection reactions cytokine based therapies in clinical use so again uh, whatever we have discussed so far this is the chart where it's uh, written um, like in a uh, more ordered way so these are the names of agent and these are the nature of agent agent which kind of uh, cytokines in nature they are and which are the clinical applications of this agents but there are also as we are discussing that side effects of cytokine therapies are there which is dampening suppressing cytokine ex- uh, activity example tnf alpha activity suppressor enhanced risk of so in in this case there is a enhanced risk of infection or malignancy 
The side effects are unpredictable. Recombinant uh, interleukin-2 can cause mild symptoms, example fever, chills, diarrhea, to CES also, that is anemia, thrombocytopenia, shock, respiratory distress, abnormal heartbeat, chest pain, other heart problems that patient may go to coma as well. So these are so sometimes side effects are very unpredictable as you can see that it can also lead to serious uh, problems in our body. So technical challenges with cytokine therapy, high local concentration of extremely potent cytokines are needed. Very short half-life of uh, different cytokines, example uh, human interleukin-2, the half-life is only 7 to 10 minutes. Preparation of various immune cells in vitro using mouse bone marrow cells. Granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor. Macrophage colony stimulating factor. Uh, FMT3 ligand, which is FMS like tyrosine. Mm, uh, tyrosine kinase receptor 3 ligand. Then, okay, so, so far we have discussed this preparation, preparation of various immune cells in vitro using mouse bone. So, yes, so. After that, we will discuss week 4, assignment 4, which is uh, of last year assignments. We can discuss this and end today's class. But before that, if you want to discuss on anything, we will discuss and then we will start with week 4 assignment.
so we'll start with week four mm. we'll start with week four assignment four so the first question is which among the, among the following properties of cytokines is are not correct high molecular weight regulatory protein this is not correct it's low molecular weight regulatory protein secreted by wbc is uh, in response to intrinsic and extrinsic stimuli cytokines action is long lived uh, generally ranging from few days to week this is also not correct so answer 1 and 3 are not correct which of the following is or are not the function of cytokines development of cellular or humoral immune response reduction of the inflammatory response and healing of wounds control of cellular proliferation and differentiation so which of the following are not uh, the function of cytokines option would be reduction of the inflammatory response and healing of wounds yeah option 2 sorry uh, which of the following statements regarding serotonin are correct serotonin regulates inflammation by acting serotonin on by acting on uh, serotonin receptors that are differentially expressed on uh, non immune cells serotonin acts as a potent chemo attractant and recruiting innate immune cells to sites of inflammation um, non immune cells have a high capacity to synthesize and release serotonin so just sometime back we are talking about serotonin yeah so serotonin regulates inflammation and immunity by acting on serotonin receptors that are differentially expressed on immune cells okay and serotonin acts as potent chemo attractant and which recruits innate immune cells to fight off uh, inflammation serotonin alters the production and release of cytokines and cell activation and proliferation option will be which one is which one is correct serotonin acts as a potent chemo attractant which also recruits innate immune cells to the site of inflammation fourth question which one of the following statements are correct interleukin 2 acts exert its effect in an autocrine paracrine and endocrine manner this is true monocyte chemotactic protein 1 are involved in follicular development and atresia ovulation this is true the adrenal cortex adro uh, adrenocortical and chromaffin cells produce cytokines as interleukin 1 interleukin 6 and uh, tnf uh, alpha as tnf alpha leukemia inhibitory factor and il10 uh, yeah this is also correct which of the following statements are correct il8 recruits neutrophils to the site of infection this is true il1 beta promotes differentiation il5 induces acute phase protein secretion so only one op- option one is correct which one of which among of the following is or are not the function of tumor necrosis factor alpha tnf alpha promotes leukocyte extravasation promotes vasodilation through suppresses fever this is not true shifts in the inflammatory response from short to long lived can cause which among the following situation impairment of normal immune function normal immune function increase susceptibility to infection can cause impair, impairment of normal immune function and increase susceptibility susceptibility to infections which of the following statements are wrong monokines 
are cytokines secreted by monocytes and macrophages. Interleukins are cytokines secreted by leukocytes. Lymphokines are cytokines secreted by lymphokines. Are wrong? Uh, none of the statements are wrong. Which of which among the following is not an eicosanoids? So if you go back to our today's class, you can see in the list that thrombin is not a eicosanoid. And the last question is which of the following pair are wrongly matched? Anna Kindra recombinant form of uh, IL1 RA, basal examia and uh, daclizumab are monoclonal antibodies against TNF alpha, which is uh, not correct. Enoprene soluble soluble TNF alpha receptor, which is correct. So these two questions you can find. Yeah. So monoclonal antibodies directed against alpha chain of IL-2R, which is uh, basal uh, map and uh, ducluzumab, and anacrea is uh, interleukin one RA. So these questions you can see that it's uh, straightforwardly asked from the slide. So um, yes, TNF alpha. Yeah. So here you can see embryl chimeric TNF receptor or IgG constant region, nature of agent, and this is clinical application is rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so this was the uh, question set from last year NPTEL course. The slides were lecture 23 and 24. I have not been uploaded in Google Drive. Can you look into this? Okay, sure. 23 and 24. Okay, I will look into it. If you have any doubt, you can let me know. We'll discuss about this. Or we'll end to this class. Thank you all for joining. But if you have any further doubt, I can talk about uh, this today or in next class as well. So all these lectures are getting uh, uploaded in youtube channel and the link is being shared with you and also uh, i am uploading all these slides in uh, drive and the drive link is also will you will get
थैंक यू ऑल थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एंड या नमिका आई विल आई विल लुक इन टू विद दैट ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड ट्वेंटी फोर इज अपलोडेड और नॉट Can we leave now? Yes, you can leave. Yes. Thank you. If you have, if you don't have any doubt, you can, you can leave. We'll end today's class. Thank you.
Hi Hasti. So today's class we have already discussed and if you have any doubt you can let me know or else today's class is over but my lecture will be uploaded in YouTube 
channel the link you have and uh, lecture slides will also be shared so you can go through that so in today's in today's class we have discussed uh, different so week 1 week 2's uh, week 1 week 2's uh, assignments and also previous years week 3's assignments so we you can go through so in one hour i will be uploading this lecture you can uh, go through the recording lecture in the youtube channel where every lectures are getting uploaded okay the channel name is mptl lectures by ananya okay okay